Well, we've mentioned lots of different components so far. Um, our conducting wire, cell or battery, switch, bulb or lamp, buzzer and motor. But let's go back right to the start with a conducting wire and find out something about resistance. So let's get all these parts ready. You remem remember way back when in the, I think it was circuits five, six, seven, that sort of region, the very early circuits, to investigate conductors and insulators, we looked at the, an unusual thing, the um, material inside a pencil. So we know pencils would on the outside and we said that it contained graphite on the uh, inside. And that graphite can have a strange effect when we use it in a circuit. So we're going to explore that a bit further, but not with the graphite itself, but with another conductor, of course, the metal inside a wire. We've made a hoop out of copper metal and used that in a buzz game. We've used crocodile clips, which have the conducting wire inside them. And you can see on this one, there's a tiny loop of wire on the inside there that touches the metal part. But of course, the copper conductor is inside that plastic insulation. And then, of course, we've used wire in um, switches attached to paper clips. So all wire has a property called resistance. So there's some bare wire and resistance can be compared to something like friction when we use forces and talk about motion and then press against a surface, we can feel a force resisting that motion. And we call that resistance to motion friction. Well, with electrical resistance, you've got something moving. You've got an electric current flowing. And depending on the actual conductor, that can have uh, a marked effect. Its resistance limits the amount of electric current flowing. So it's got a limiting effect and we can use that to control the current flowing. Now, you can take a, a very, 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 very long length of this type of wire to do this experiment, but it really is a very awkward amount of wire to use. Instead, we're going to use this special resistance wire and all it is is a very special thin type of wire. And this one uh, is made from uh, nickel and chromium. So that's two different metals. Normal conductor inside um, a wire would be copper, and this one's coated with nickel. But here's a mixture of two different metals, nickel and chromium wire, and it's very thin. And we can use this in order to illustrate that effect of resistance. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, a length of the wire, that's about 60 centimetres, and we're going to take two paper fasteners and make our own little sort of resistance wire that's bare all the way along. So there's our wire there. The ends can be very sharp, so let's be careful with them. And what we're going to do is just gradually unloosen it, look. And I'm going to go whoops, up to this end, pop out the paper fastener, open it up. And what we want to make is an electrical connection at this end. So all we've got to do is, said he fiddling about with it. All we've got to do is wrap that round a couple of times there. I slotted it through the prongs of the fastener first, just so that it won't pull back out again, and then pop the fastener in. So the fastener is going to go all the way through the foam strip and then tightly flatten it at that end so it can't move. So then what we're going to do is open out the wire and attach it, you know, spin it round as many times as we can and then get it to this end and attach it there. So let's just loosen it off. Just be careful with that end if it's, it's it's rather springy wire so it can jump about so it is very sharp so just be careful with it so what we're going to do is just gradually wrap it around and there we go and that's got us to this end so depending on the exact length of the wire you might have a shorter or a longer sorry a, sh a smaller or um, a larger number of turns, but I've got, that's one, two, three, four, five, and then the last one, six. 
So that's fine for what we're trying to do. So let's pop that fastener out. Let's open it in there. Twist it around a couple of times to get a good electrical contact. There it goes. Pop it in, just like before. Push it, push it all the way through and open it out. And that can be connected into our circuits using the normal sort of crocodile clip wires that we've used before. Take a wire. So if we want to join this wire on, that could be at that side. And then if we were to take another wire, So now in our circuit, we could include this length of resistance wire, which is 60 centimeters long. So it's, you know, these, these wires here are typically about 15 to 20 centimeters long, and this is 60 centimeters long. So it's quite a long piece of wire. It's thin, it's not made of the same conducting material as, as is inside a normal wire. And we're gonna look at it in the next video. We're gonna look at the effect that can have on the flow of electricity in a circuit.